let's let's come before the Lord. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Send your Holy Spirit upon us and clothe us with power from on high. Hallelujah. So, bless to you, Lord God of all creation. To you be glory and praise forever. Raised to your right hand on high, the ascended Christ shows the Prince of Love and bestows on us the gift of grace. As your spirit renews the face of the earth, may we bring forth the fruit of the spirit and reveal your glory in all the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 147 Praise the Lord. It is good to sing praise to our God. It is pleasant and right to praise him. The Lord is restoring Jerusalem. He is bringing back the exiles. He heals the brokenhearted and bandages their wounds. He has decided the number of the stars and calls each one by name. Great and mighty is our Lord. His wisdom cannot be measured. He raises the humble but crushes the wicked to the ground. Sing hymns of praise to the Lord, play music on the harp to our God. He spreads clouds over the sky, he provides rain for the earth and makes the grass grow on the hills. He gives animals their food and feeds the young ravens when they call. His pleasure is not in strong horses, nor his delight in brave soldiers, but he takes pleasure in those who honour him in those who trust his constant love. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise the Lord, O Zion. He keeps your gates strong. He blesses your people. He keeps your borders safe and satisfies you with finest wheat. He gives a command to the earth and what he says is quickly done. He spreads snow like a blanket and scatters frost like dust. He sends hail like gravel, no one can endure the cold he sends. Then he gives a command and the ice melts. He sends the wind and the water flows. He gives his message to his people, his instructions and laws to Israel. He has not done this for any other nations. They do not know his laws. Praise the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Deuteronomy 33 These are the blessings that Moses, the man of God, pronounced on the people of Israel before he died. The Lord came from Mount Sinai. He rose like the sun over Edom and shone on his people from Mount Paran. Ten thousand angels were with him, a flaming fire at his right hand. The Lord loves his people and protects those who belong to him. So we bow at his feet 
and we obey his commands. We obey the law that Moses gave us, our nation's most treasured possession. The Lord became king of his people, Israel, when their tribes and leaders were gathered together. Moses said about the tribe of Reuben, May Reuben never die out, although their people are few. About the tribe of Judah, he said, Lord, Lord listen to their cry for help. Unite them against with the other tribes, fight for them, Lord, and help them against their enemies. About the tribe of Levi, he said, You, Lord, reveal your will by the Urim and Thummim. Through your faithful servants, the Levites, you put them to test at Massa and proved them to be true at the waters of Meribah. They showed greater loyalty to you than to parents, brothers or sisters. They obeyed your commands and were faithful to your covenant. They will teach your people to obey your law. They will offer sacrifices on your altar. Lord, help their tribe to grow strong. Be pleased with what they do. Crush all their enemies. Let them never rise again. About the tribe of Benjamin, he said, this is the tribe the Lord loves and protects. He guards them all the day long. He dwells in their midst. About the tribe of Joseph, he said, May the Lord bless their land with rain and with water from under the earth. May their land be blessed with sun-ripened fruit, rich with the best fruits of each season. May their ancient hills be covered with choice fruit, May their land be filled with all that is good, blessed by the goodness of the Lord, who spoke from the burning bush. May these blessings come to the tribe of Joseph, because he was the leader among his brothers. Joseph has the strength of a bull, the horns of a wild ox. His horns are Manasseh's thousands and Ephraim's ten thousands. With them he gores the nations and pushes them to the ends of the earth. About the tribes of Zebulun and Issachar, he said, May Zebulun be prosperous in their trade on the sea, and may Issachar's wealth increase at home. They invite, invite foreigners to their mountain, then they offer right sacrifices there. They get their wealth from the sea and from the sand along the shore. About the tribe of Gad, he said, Praise God who made their territory large. Gad waits like a lion to turn off an arm, tear off an arm or a scalp. They took the best of the land for themselves. A leader's share was assigned to them. They obeyed the Lord's commands and laws when the leaders of Israel were gathered together. About the tribe of Dan, he said, Dan is a young lion, he leaps out from Bashan. About the tribe of Naphtali, he said, Naphtali is richly blessed by the Lord's good favour. Their land reaches to the south from Lake Galilee. About the tribe of Asher, he said, Asher is blessed more than the other tribes. May he be the favourite of his brothers, and may his land be rich with olive trees. May his towns be protected with iron gates, and may he always live secure. People of Israel, no God is like your God, riding in splendour across the sky, riding through the clouds to come to your aid. God has always been your defence, his eternal arms are your support. He drove out your enemies as you advanced and told you to destroy them all. So Jacob's descendants live in peace, secure in a land full of grain and wine, where dew from the sky waters the ground. Israel, how happy you are. There is no one like you, a nation saved by the Lord. The Lord himself is your shield and your sword to defend you and give you victory. Your enemies will come begging for mercy and you will trample them down. This is the word 
of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Spirit of the Father who raised Christ Jesus from the dead gives life to the people of God. Alleluia. The law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from the law of sin and death. All who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God, for we have received the Spirit that enables us to cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness that we are children of God, and if God's children, then heirs of God. If heirs of God, then fellow heirs with Christ, since we suffer with him now that we may be glorified with him. These sufferings that we now endure are not worth comparing to the glory that shall be revealed for the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the children of God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The Spirit of the Father who raised Christ Jesus from the dead gives life to the people of God. Alleluia. 1 John chapter 4 verses 7 to the end. Dear friends, let us love one another because love comes from God. Whoever loves the child of God knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. And God showed his love for us by sending his only son into the world so that we might have life through him. This is what love is, it is not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the means by which our sins are forgiven. Dear friends, if this is how God loved us, then we should love one another. No other has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in union with us and his love is made perfect in us. We are sure that we live in union with God and that he lives in union with us because he has given us his spirit. And we have seen and tell others that the Father sent his Son to be the Saviour of the world. If we declare that Jesus is the Son of God, we live in union with God and God lives in union with us. And if we ourselves know and believe the love which God has for us, God is love and those who live in love live in union with God and God lives in union with them. Love is made perfect in us in order that we may have courage on the judgment day. We will have it because our life in this world is the same as Christ's. There is no fear in love. Perfect love drives out all fear. So then, love has not been made perfect in anyone who is afraid because fear has to do with punishment. We love because God first loved us. If we say we love God but hate others, we are liars. For we cannot love God whom we have not seen if we do not love others whom we have seen. The command that Christ has given us is this. Whoever loves God must love others also. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. When you send forth your spirit, we are created. You renew the face of the earth. When, when you, you send, send forth, forth your, your spirit, spirit, we are, we are created. created. You renew the face of the earth. O oh Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. You renew the face of the earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. When, when you send forth your Spirit, we are created. You renew the face of the earth.
How excellent is your name in all the world. You have set your glory above the heavens. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. Casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy. The promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children for ever. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father and, and to the Son and, and to, to the, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, now and, and shall be forever. Amen. Amen. How excellent, How excellent is your name in all the world. You have set your glory above the heavens. Alleluia. Father, we thank you for the day. We thank you for whatever we may have done today, the time spent in the garden, the time doing jobs around the home, the time spent talking to friends or family or neighbours, time that may have been spent at work. Lord, we thank you that we have time, time to spend in different activities. We thank you that we have life mm -hmm. to enjoy. We thank you this evening for the sunshine, for the mild weather, And that we can just rest in the knowledge that you are God. Lord, we pray for your peace to be in our hearts and in our minds and in the hearts and minds of those that we love and that we care for and those for whom we pray. And Lord, we lift to you as we have done for several days now those that we long to know you, those that we pray for, that your grace, mercy and salvation will be revealed to them and they will be open to accepting it. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah, our yeah. prayer. Father, we pray for those we know who are struggling. 
those we know who are beset by mental health issues. We pray for those we know who live in fear and are frightened of leaving their homes or allowing others to leave their homes. And as the lockdown begins to head towards be eased, Father, we pray that those who have been beset by fear would find a confidence. We pray that those who have mental health issues would find the ability to get out and the ability to be amongst other people something that would help them to square away all that's going on in them. Father, we pray for those who have serious health issues, for the cancers and the terminal illnesses that are around and that we know of, for the people who we know in places of danger and need medical care and support which COVID has perhaps postponed. For those we know and love who are in care homes. Father we pray for all those who we know and believe are vulnerable tonight. Yes. That you would stand between them and the danger that you would be their rock upon which they plant their feet and Lord, also, Lord, their shield which protects them from the fiery darts of the enemy and from the impact of infection and illness. Father, be God in their lives tonight, we pray. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. be at oh, our prayer. Yeah. Lord, we pray for those whose relationships are strained at the moment, for those who are going through difficult times in their marriage or other relationships, for those who have found the pressure of the lockdown has revealed cracks or amplified difficulties that were already there. For those for whom the lockdown has provided opportunities to talk and confront issues that may have been ignored or buried before now. For those for whom this Time has just been very awkward. So they found they haven't enjoyed each other's company. Lord, for all who struggle in their marriages. We ask for your wisdom. We ask mm. for your blessing. We ask for your openness and honesty to be able to confront those things that are gnawing away at the marriage bond. That you would bring counsel and healing into those places. Father, for the family relationships that may also be strained, we all have them. We all have those members of our family that are just a bit more difficult, take a bit more effort, who know how to press our buttons and 
amplify the pain. Father, we pray for those relationships too. The frank and open and honest discussions for the humility to make room for each other to acknowledge wrong where there is wrong and to offer forgiveness where it's needed that heals may be wounded and relationships may be rebuilt. Lord in your mercy hear our prayer. Father, as thy kingdom come, draws to its close. As tomorrow, we reach the penultimate day. We lift to you those for whom we've been praying. And Father, for the conversations that I've had today of people who haven't heard of that, of people who thought it was such a good idea. Lord, we can sometimes be so tardy. For the couple I met today, Father, who both working in the funeral sector came and were telling me of the course they'd been doing at a church in Litchfield and their journey to faith. Father, I thank you that sometimes our strategies and our structures fall down, but you still make yourself known. Father, I pray for all those who are still out there, that when we get to Pentecost, we won't stop praying for the lost. We won't stop reaching out to those in need. But Lord, as we celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit that day, we will make him known by the outworkings of your love, by the worship we have and the life we lead for Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. Risen, ascended Lord, as we rejoice at your triumph, fill your church on earth with power and compassion, that all who are estranged by sin may find forgiveness and know your peace, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Being made one and by the power of the Spirit, our, our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia. 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 Thank you for...
be joining with us tonight. It's still mild, sunny, warm, call it what you will. It looks like a nice evening to me. So I'm going to go and kindle a fire of the barbecue. Yes, because I would have a barbecue <laughs> every night if I had my way. Have a good evening, everybody. Bless Whatever you guys. You do. Good night.